What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we have now just seen the Ferrari Stallone concept. It's really the perfect hypercar successor to the Ferrari La Ferrari. Now Murray Sharp is responsible for this concept of the Ferrari Stallone and really it is something breathtaking. I am in awe and shock and I want this to be Ferrari's next hypercar. I mean, this is a 3D model that he published several images of, including one where he sketched about 50 possible versions and angles. That tells you he's a crazy Ferrari fan in a good way. Now, if you guys are wondering, this is not a derivative of Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> the guy who plays Rambo. This is actually Stallone, which is stallion in Italian. And this is also not a Mansory body kit for the V12 Ferrari but that's besides the point. This project was inspired by one of Enzo's famous quotes. Enzo said, a car maker need be neither an engineer nor a technician. He must be someone who loves his passion for cars. Great words by Enzo. Now, the artist tried to combine what he believes to be the rawest expression of Ferrari engineering. Now this outcome looks more like the LaFerrari than any other supercar in Ferrari's lineup, maybe with a mix of McLaren P1. Now the South African designer tried to think of everything, but predominantly focused on the flow of airflow over the various body elements. So we're left with powerful statements from the hood vents to the rear diffuser, and especially the flying buttress. Now being the hypercar of the future, it also has cameras for doors and probably an advanced powertrain. While Ferrari believes EV technology isn't there yet, it's definitely interesting. Now let's hope that after the 1000 horsepower FS90 Stradale, a battery powered machine that looks this good arrives in Ferrari's lineup. Now, are you guys as blown away from this as I am? This is an incredible looking rendering, an incredible looking design, and I really would love if Ferrari built something closer to along these lines for the Ferrari La Ferrari. I didn't think that they could really top the Enzo, and then they came out with the La Ferrari. Now there's no telling what Ferrari can do as far as design goes, where they can take it next, what technology and airflow systems, downforce, and everything that they can incorporate to the next hypercar, but it has some big shoes to fill. When you think about the 250 GTO, when you think about the F40, F50, um, the Enzo, and the LaFerrari, those are big heavyweights in the game, and this kind of car for the successor of the LaFerrari has to be everything and then some from the best automaker in the world. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on the Ferrari Stallone? I want to know about this concept and what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Now, with that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. When you give it a thumbs up, it helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see the video and we can have a bigger discussion on this future hypercar concept, the Ferrari Stallone. Now, with that said, also check the links down below in case you guys want to help support the channel. You can always click the link for my PayPal. We can donate a dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate every donation. Or you can do the monthly subscription for Patreon as well. You can also check out the Ron's Rise merch link where you can do Ron's Rise stickers, Ron's Rise t-shirts, hoodies, anything Ron's Rise with our logo on it. Make sure you check that out. And you can also check out the social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. See everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo based that doesn't always make it to the channel. Now, with that said, you guys subscribe, click that notification bell so you can get these videos straight to your inbox. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.